Aries, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from May 15th to June 15th. This is going to be a sneak peek preview into your June tarot. And uh, I'm going to start off your reading with an important message, a love message that you need to hear when it comes to your love life, okay? We're going to clarify this in the extended reading. So if you're interested in knowing more, that will be linked in the description box below, okay? So what is the important message for you when it comes comes to your love life what is it that you need to know now okay we're going to choose one random card okay okay all right so let's get into your reading and let's see what is going on so Aries in this reading I'm going to be taking a look at past present and future I'm going to clarify the cards for you and pull some advice. All right. All right. So your challenge for mid-May moving into the month of June is the Six of Pentacles, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords in reverse, okay? All right, so your challenge for uh, this coming month in June is the Six of Pentacles. Things are finally coming back into balance for you, okay? The message here for you, Aries, is I give and receive for the universal good. So there is something good coming in for you. There's something that's coming into your life that's bringing a lot of balance. Some of you don't um, realize this or it may be something that seems too good to be true. We're gonna clarify this in a moment and see. In the recent past, you have the Knight of Cups, you have the Five of Cups, and you have the Four of Cups, okay? I really feel in the past that you were dealing with a water sign, possibly. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is very strong here. You were dealing with somebody who was very in and out of your life. This is somebody that wasn't able to ever commit. This is somebody who constantly put you in third party situations. This is somebody who constantly rejected you. Okay. You felt rejected by this person in the past is what it's telling me. We're going to clarify in a moment and see in the present moment, you have the Knight of Pentacles, or excuse me, you have the King of Pentacles. I thought it was a Knight. You have the King of Pentacles and you have the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. What's really interesting here is this connection that's coming in for you is a divine connection. It is a soulmate connection. It is one that you've been waiting for, for quite some time. In fact, you match this person very well, okay? If this hasn't come into your life yet, I do see that there is going to be someone coming in to compliment you, compliment your energy. What I'm also seeing here is the Queen of Swords in the present moment. So for many of you, I'm really getting strongly that there is some sort of um, protection or need to protect yourself. You may be feeling this because it's so good to be, like it feels so um, it, it feels too good to be true is what I'm getting here. Okay. It's almost as if you're in a dream. It's almost as if, you know, the way things are manifesting for you right now, it's incredible. Okay. With the queen of swords. So I'm going to clarify this in a moment and we're going to see in the near future, Aries, you have the Knight of Wands, you have the Eight of Cups, and you have the Seven of Swords, okay? Some of you are gonna be quick to make some sort of decision based on your emotions, okay? It may have a lot to do with um, removing yourself from a situation because of trust, okay? We're gonna clarify this in a moment and see. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Six of wands in reverse, the ace of cups in reverse, the two of wands in reverse, and the justice in reverse. So I'm really getting strongly here that for many of you, you are um, realizing that there is something that has led to some sort of separation, okay? Possibly for many of you, six of wands. Something here hasn't worked out for you or may not work out for you when it comes to some sort of new love, okay? Because of some sort of energy of you holding back, okay? But I see this changing because a lot of you are recognizing or this person may be recognizing that you are the one. They're the one, you're the one that wants to be with them. They're the one that wants to be with you. But because it's so good to be true, there are some sort of illusions, but these illusions get dropped, okay? Because the seven of cups represents illusions. And because it's in reverse, there is some sort of realization that eventually comes to you in this person, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna clarify the cards and we're gonna see um, what's going on for you. So 
So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. A lot of you have an opportunity to reconcile with someone or come back together or even celebrate. It doesn't have to be an actual reconciliation where you get back with someone from the past. For some of you, it may be like that, but for others of you, it is you celebrating a new beginning that's happening in your life. This is the challenge, is that you may be so happy, you may be so thrilled at what's coming in for you the changes the opportunities wheel of fortunes about opportunities that you may overlook this situation that's your challenge it's so perfect you may overlook this situation it says i give and receive for the universal good so you're giving and you're receiving because of something amazing that's coming into your life it's a new opportunity it's something that must be celebrated okay and this is your challenge to recognize that and appreciate it all right, so in the recent past, I'm going to clarify the Knight of Cups, okay? I feel like this is your person. Um, it says, I know that the right person waits until I'm ready. For some of you, this person never waited for you or you never waited for them. There was something about inconsistency here in the past with someone that you truly loved. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Strength, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Yes, it's interesting because in the past, one of you was giving a lot of love while the other person was very on and off. You tried to make things work on many occasions with this person, Aries, but even though you tried to endure and overcome the situation, it really affected your confidence. It really made you feel like you weren't even wanted in the past, okay? So something here didn't work out because you both, you and this person were not on the same level, okay? In the present moment, you are finally meeting somebody who is at your level, somebody who finally compliments you, somebody who finally could stand beside you and you can say, look, this is my boyfriend, this is my girlfriend, this is my, you know, my fiance. It's like, <laughs> it looks good. But there's also some sort of, um, there's also some sort of resistance here with the Queen of Swords when it comes to this connection, because again, it's too good to be true. So tell me about, or it seems like it's too good to be true. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. What is this Queen of Swords? What is the message here for Aries in the present moment? What is the message here for Aries in the present moment? Okay, so the Queen of Swords in the present moment is clarified by the Empress, the Five of Wands, and the Death. Okay. Here's the issue. Hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. The issue here, Aries, is that, again, you have a beautiful connection that's coming in. It's someone who compliments you. It's somebody who makes you look good. You make them look good. You, It's like you both were meant to meet each other. What really needs to come to an end is your fear when it comes to your belief that this is going to grow. A lot of you are uncertain, okay, with the death card here. There may be some sort of conflict, inner conflict that's going on between you and your inner self or conflict between a friend or someone who's trying to give you advice here. I'm just seeing some sort of conflict when it comes to you believing in this connection. Okay. And that's what's coming to an end for you is that conflict that's happening. Um, there's resistance in terms of, are we going to grow? Is there a potential here for us to grow? You can, you can, there's a lot of potential here, but are you going to allow that to happen? Or are you going to stay in this defensive type of energy and resist it? Because that's, this is what it's saying here. This is what's creating some sort of conflict. For some of you, there could be a third party situation in the present moment that's coming to an end, finally. Okay, that's another message for you. I'm going to clarify the King of Pentacles because I feel like the King of Pentacles is a very important person that's coming into your life. This person... Let me say this one thing, Aries, this person's very sincere. When you look at this person, it says, I'm sure of my place in the world. This person knows what they want. They're not somebody who plays games like the person in the past. Okay. And I'm getting pure goosebumps all over my arms. So I, I'm really getting that you are finally receiving the love and the support from somebody that you've wanted for quite some time. So tell me about this King of Pentacles. What is the message here from the King of Pentacles to Aries? Wow. Okay. 
So the King of Pentacles is clarified by the uh, Fool, the Magician, and the Temperance. You've been waiting for this. You have been waiting for this, Aries. You've been manifesting. You've been doing your candle magic. You've been doing your rituals. You're like, now I'm ready to take the leap of faith. It's interesting because this person shows up. The question now is, are you ready to take that leap of faith? And the message for you is Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy, okay? I have everything I need to prosper. You're in a really good place right now in your life. And if you aren't, you will be. With the Queen of Pentacles here, you are stable. You have the crystal here of Pyrite. Pyrite will help you manifest more of what you want, okay? So let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles and see what message is here for you when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles. What is it that you need to know in the present moment about this situation that you're in? Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, which is your challenge for this coming month. And you have the Knight of Wands. Go for it. That's the message here for you. Go for it. Work towards it. Um, go for what it is that you want. Go for that stability. Some of you are going to be getting into a better job or you're going to increase your finances in the month of June. Okay, there's a big opportunity for you to do that here. Um, overall, I see a beautiful connection if you're not willing to fight it or go against this opportunity that's coming in um, to your life in the present moment. Okay, so in the near future, um, we have the seven of swords. It says, I take great care of what I value. Okay, so before I clarify the seven of swords, what are the um, messages when it comes to the eight of cups? There's something here that you are going to be emotionally releasing in the near future. Let me clarify the eight of cups. What are you releasing in the near future? Okay. So the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Judgment, and the Star. What this is telling me here, the message for you, is I accept my situation without resistance. See? Remember I was telling you that? You got a beautiful connection that's coming in the present moment, but you're questioning it in the near future. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, should I walk away? Should I stay? Should I invest in this? Should I put my emotions into this? A lot of you are uncertain, okay? And this is what's leaving you and keeping you st feeling stuck because you're not truly realizing what's in front of you. You're constantly questioning it all the time. Some of you are doing your own tarot at home, shuffling the cards. Is this, is this one for me? Is this one for me? I don't know. Is it for you? Because what spirit is saying it is, is that it is star. The one wish that you've wanted, you're finally getting and you're questioning it. So a lot of you in the near future may run away from this situation because you're afraid. Knight of Wands, you become this player in and out. Hard to get, you know, let me clarify the seven of swords. Okay, so there's something here you need to value. Okay, and not take it for granted. This is your message in the near future, Aries. I know it's a difficult message for you to hear. But this is what it's saying. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is clarified by the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Emperor. What is it that you truly want? Do you want somebody who, because again, your person, what's going to happen? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in the near future. Your person is going to mirror everything that you do. So if you're in and out, they're going to become in and out. If you're stable and solid, like you are in the present moment, they're going to be stable and solid. This is a twin flame. Twin flames always mirror us. They show us what we need to work on, okay? So some of you are going to experience that in the near future. So there's something that you need to work through on yourself in order to harness the beautiful um, energy that's coming into your life when it comes to this person. What is it that you have to work on? I make decisions without pressure. I make decisions without pressure in the near future. What is the message here for you when it comes to you being indecisive about this connection? You have to make a decision here in the near future about what it is that you truly want. Because even though what you want does present itself, it doesn't mean that you go after it or harness the energy the way you should. Okay, the um, clarification here for the Knight of Wands is the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. You see, you have a beautiful connection there. Look, Two of Cups, you're not even noticing it. You have to make a decision Are you going to release the pain and trauma that you've experienced in the past in order to? Uh, enjoy this connection that has presented itself to you or are you going to remain in this 
player-like energy, constantly leaving someone here guessing. It will be up to you, okay? This is your decision, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna get some advice, okay? Before I get some advice, I do wanna let you know that someone here is opening up and they are realizing, and I feel like this is you, you are realizing that this could have a lot of potential. So let's get the advice for you. What is the advice for you, Aries? Moving forward. What is the advice? Okay, so the advice here for you is the Six of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. The advice here is, is to recognize what brings you fulfillment and happiness. I trust in the flow of life. Trust in the flow of life. Stop always questioning things. Stop always thinking that you have to be on guard all the time. Live. Enjoy your life. Okay? The advice here for you is Six of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. There is a beautiful soulmate connection that's coming in. There's an opportunity. Will you take it? Will you not? That will be up to you, okay? So this is what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.